okay so in the last video we talked about how to manipulate data in google sheets how to format yes and how to do basic calculations so in this video now let's talk about conditional formatting now what conditional formatting means it's that we can change the style and appearance of certain piece of data if they meet certain um certain requirements you understand that now take for instance this is a calculated field we calculated this okay now let's say we want a situation whereby if this meets 250 let's use 250 as the as the benchmark so if it's up to 250 we will use we'll highlight it as green then if it's not up to 250 we would leave it blank or we'll highlight it as red so that's what conditional formatting does you set a particular requirement any requirement you can choose any requirement you want to it may be the length this this is three it may be the length of the figures or the number of um, letters it may be the volume or the, the 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 size of the figure whatever it is but you set a particular requirement and if the if 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 the content of the cell meets that requirement then the style takes a particular um whatever you choose it to be so it goes that way now let's make it and let's make it let's make the benchmark 250 so if if this is up to 250 it will be green if it's not it will be red so now let's let's come here click on it and then you can come to this tab here then this button here is a drop down so you click on that and then you come to conditional formatting or you just mark the entire column and come to format then you go to conditional formatting so we're setting a new rule now because we already marked this this is it this this is the range so we'll choose our rule so we'll say if the cell is not empty no we'll use if it's greater than we'll say if it's greater than or equal to it's greater than or equal to 250 all right so we want to style it this way we want the color to be want the color to be this green yes exactly so that's how we want it and then now let us let us see okay all right yes so we'll set another rule another rule that says if if it's less than right if it's less than 250 we want it to be red so we want it to be red this this i don't like this red um, let's see something something like this no okay this is this is this is good so if it's not up to 250 it will be this so hit done and then so we set two rules one rule um highlights green for the figures that are more than 250 that are up to and more than 250 and the second rule highlights red for the ones that are not up to 250 so let's close it and then there we go so this is very important for in a, in a, a use case scenario for this is if maybe you are calculating the score of take for instance it's an examination it's a test and they are trying to calculate the score so if 250 is the pass mark then the ones who don't who didn't get up to 250 you will now know you will know what to do with them then these ones that get up to 250 so this these are the ones that passed the examination so that is the use case for conditional formatting and it is it is very 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 helpful most times if you if you are going to be working with google sheets a lot of times and you're going to be dealing with data then most probably you will need this one of the use cases i use one of the one of the times i used this was a in collecting payment from from customers so i would usually use this to check if the customers have paid or if they have not yet paid 
and it was very very helpful so you will most probably need this as you work with google sheets all right so that's it that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one